Solinger event on Cameron Davis. Number one in goal to the man with the ball. Ten to shoot. Solinger in the lane. No. Hornby puts it up and in. Six seconds ago, Kent State a one-point lead. And a foul oh. on Rollins. And it'll be a one-and-one one free throw for Akron. No. Why is Rollins fouling? Julius Rollins did not know time and score and fouled on the play. Reached out and fouled. Wow, what a miscue by Julius Rollins with Kent State up by one. The horn beat comes in from the backside because you see all the white jerseys go to the ball, tips it in. And Julius Rollins doesn't understand what the score is. The ninth team foul on Kent State. It's triple to the free throw line, a 74% shooter to shoot the one and one. Tie game. 4.8 seconds to go. And Rollins is absolutely beside himself. Well, now you got to put it. You got to put the bet in this next play now for Kent State as a tie ball game. As Greg Triple goes the line, he's the 6:30 a.m. workout guy. Nobody works harder than Greg Triple, and now he could give Akron the lead with 4.8 to go. But he just obviously just reaches out. He does not know time and score and fouls Triple. Triple steps the line, hits the first one. And Rob Sederoff is, is just beside himself. But now as a coach, you got to put it to bed. you got to rally your troops. You've got to bring them back together and execute one more time with 4.8 seconds to go. And he's got Julian Sol Jalen Solinger, excuse me, who has been so effective with the ball and is acrobatic with it. And they've got almost five seconds. That's plenty of time to get to the rim. And no timeouts remaining for Kent State. Julius Rollins now on the bench. Rollins, head in his hands. Triple, a chance to give Akron a one-point lead. The hardest working guy on this team, the season in the balance, Greg Triple. Got it. Off the front of the rim and in. Akron takes a timeout. They lead it by one with 4.8 seconds to go. It'll be Sullinger to inbound. 4.8 seconds to go, Coach. The ball will go right back to Sullinger. Here he is. Four seconds. Sullinger. For the win. No! Akron escapes! And they're headed to the NCAA Tournament! Rollins, but at the same time, Enrique Freeman, the MAC Player of the Year, leads his team to a MAC championship once again. And he did it with back-to-back -back blocked shots on the defensive end. Enrique Freeman made defensive plays down the stretch. Freeman finishes with 17 points and nine rebounds. Ali Ali had 18. And in the losing effort for Kent State, 21 for Von Cameron Davis and 19 for Jalen Sullinger. As we take a look at Julian Sullinger, they're, they're going to put the ball in his hands and he needs to make an acrobatic play. And Enrique Freeman again makes a play defensively to challenge the shot. And then the foul by Julius Rollins that set up the game-winning free throws by Greg Tribble not knowing time and score. And Enrique Freeman just made so many defensive plays. A challenge there, and a block there, and Enrique Freeman, the former walk-on, now basically the leading rebounder and double-double guy in America, dominates enough to send Akron to the NCAA tournament.